Now, some of the things that's going to happen when you look out and see what can I contribute to, what can I give, I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have a voice that's saying, it's just no use. It's, it's, it's out of control now. There will be a voice telling you that you'll be wasting your time and wasting your energy and wasting your effort. I say, don't listen to it. Listen to that still, small voice that says, I can do something and I ought to do it. We ought to do it. The Israeli said this, nothing can resist the will of a people that will stake even their existence on the extent of that purpose for good. I strongly believe that, that all of us have some work to do, that each one of us showed up to do something, that each one of us showed up to contribute something to life. And that if we don't do it, it will not be done. Be it that you want to help and contribute to you or do something for the homeless, whatever you want to do, if you get up in the morning out of a sense of orthos and decide that I am an opening for the universe, that life can work through and use me as a channel and as an instrument for change. How will you serve the world? What do they need that your talent can provide? That's all you have to figure out. I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. You are ready and able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only ever have two choices, love or fear. Choose love and don't ever let fear turn you against your playful heart. Begin to see yourself as an opening for the universe to move through, to work through to make a difference in life. See yourself being used by life to improve the quality of life, to expand and to grow. The impossible is truly possible. There are so many great stories and examples of kids.